Okay, guys, so this is the docking pilot and the difference between a docking pilot, a tugboat, a pilot boat, and a regular pilot that would bring your ship in. Now, I had an hour long video, it's going to go in a private room, but once again, let's bring this over and take a quick scan at this. As we, as I, in my previous video, it's it's called, uh, let me grab the end of there, bear with me. Francis Scott Key Bridge cargo ship, right? Let me see if we're missing something in the background. Yeah, they zoomed in beautifully. Beautiful. This is, I'm recording this for posterity and work on it later. All right, so that's how it ripped off the mounts. Off the, I did a longer video discussing the bridge structure, etc. This is the, how it ripped off the mounts at the top of the... I don't... Yeah, that's the top. Yep, of the... Uh, where the bridge deck was connected. All right, so this ship... Um, you can see it. The back side of it. And as I scrub forward, and you have to come to this video, and I do this, it shifts... I talk about it. You'll see it shift over and how you see it shifting. I'm just jumping jumping frame so you can see it shift over faster instead of waiting for it slowly. It shifts over and the ascend is coming around. It's pivoting. So it makes me wonder if he had his inverse thrusters on. Uh, if he had, you know, I don't know anything about the ship. I try to find it. And if he was pulled back, pulling back on one of the, one of the, uh, you know, pull, trying, to, trying to pull back. Does it have one propeller? Um... Does it have two? Good shot. Great shot. Come right off the... Oh, see, these are both tapered also. Oh, yeah, that's the island that the, the, uh, where the bridge was. Yeah, I got it. I did it. The longer video, I show the, the, uh, the build, the construction of it from 1972 to 1977, the bridge opening. That's a one-hour video. I'll post it, and you guys can look at it or not. Um... The Merlin, I'm letting that show up. I don't want to block that view for you guys yet. Okay, I'll pull this over now. So in Merlin, they have Merlin, that's what you say, at port of the, uh, they, by state law, every ship that enters Merlin, Maryland, uh, Mary's land, uh, must have a state license to make sure we're not missing a good zoom. Okay. Must have a state license, not should, shall. I mean, should. It's not. It's shell, same thing, not like may. Not, it's, it's a must. Um, every ship in uh, the waters must have a state licensed pilot as its helm. Steering massive ships from the sea into port. Okay, so from massive ships from sea into port. But take notification about something here. So that means that every vessel bound for Baltimore must meet the must be, must be met by a pilot. By the end of the at the end oh shit at the end of the mouth of the Chesapeake, where she or he takes command of the ship, throughout this voyage, pilots steer the steer their ships through a fifty foot deep channel with sometimes as little clearance at the bottom between the bottom of the ship and the bottom of the bay at three feet as low as three feet as three feet. Guys, I read this so many times. Another, and so now I'm paraphrasing. I'm not reading anymore. That's what the problem is. I'm trying to read to you now, and my brain wants to paraphrase. Once the ship reaches the key bridge, the key bridge is the bridge we have collapsed here. So it's very important that this is mentioned in the Maryland um, uh, records here, that they're mentioning this specific bridge. Once the ship reaches the key bridge, Francis Scott Key, the, the Star Spangled Banner guy, incidentally, a docking pilot takes over the helm and brings the ship into berth in the port. So specifically it says once it reaches the key port, a docking pilot takes over. So coming to there, you switch over to a docking pilot. Well, they were no longer docking. They were leaving. So it is a docking pilot required to bring him out to there, and then he switched to another pilot. That's interesting, right? But also this above says that means that every vessel bound for Baltimore must be met by a pilot at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, where she he takes command of the ship. Throughout this voyage, the pilots steer the ships through a 50-foot deep channel with sometimes as little as clearance is between 50 between the bottom of the ship and the bottom of the bay as three feet. But in, up here, it makes it clear. That means that every vessel bound for Baltimore must be met by a, a, not two, multiples, a pilot at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, okay, so one to bring it in, 
where she takes command of the of the ship. But importantly, steering massive ships from the sea into port. The first sentence. So it's one pilot. But here they say a docking pilot is required. So it's one pilot up here. Steering massive ships from the sea into port. But here it's saying to get into port, right here, port right here, that once it reaches the key bridge, a docking pilot takes over with the helm, over the helm, over the helm, and brings the ship into the berth of the port. So one says you do, the, brings it from ship, from sea, into port, and then it makes it clear that, well, when you reach the key bridge, um, Francis Scott Keys, the Star Spangled Banner guy, you will take over by that. But they were leaving, and since they were leaving... Um, would you only need a, 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 regular, a regular pilot? Um, would you only need a regular pilot? And then the question is, um, so what, what do you do? So what, 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 what do you do? Uh, do you get a, a, you're leaving. It says, yeah, see, see, this is the problem. It says, by state law, every ship that enters Maryland waterways must have a state licensed pilot at his helm. Entering. How about leaving? How about leaving Maryland waterways? Steering massive ships from the sea. How about maintain? Must have a licensed state pilot at its helm steering massive ships from the sea into port. See, they're very specific. From the sea into port. But you're going from the port to sea. Yeah, see, that's where I... You know, technically, I'm like, ah, you know, were they in the wrong if they didn't use a pilot? I'm looking at what it says here from the state laws. It doesn't say while under in, in the water waterways must have a, a state pilot, a licensed state pilot. It says must have a state licensed pilot at its helm steering massive ships from the sea, from one direction, sea into port. And even here. That's from the, the sea side of it, the river, ocean, uh, the bay side, into dock. But then uh, it doesn't talk about them leaving. So is that a technicality that, all, that they know about? All right, you tell me. Did I just, you know, find a technicality or am I talking shit because we can find it in another code somewhere because, frankly, they don't reference it at another code. Um, that was the best I could find under pilots trans under this put a transportation system Maryland Maryland right that, that's 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 the best I got that's the best I got that's with a Z and an S uh, yes you only DS all right so take care love you guys and so you saw the ship shift over right go back to the beginning of the video it ships over I'm not sure if that's an anchor down in the ground or not um, we got weight on the front of this vessel. Did they need a pilot? Did they need a tugboat? A friend of mine that works down there tells me that they need a tug. He saw a tugboat there each time. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. But I think he was seeing a, a pilot boat um, and not necessarily a tugboat. So um, let me get you that. Um, hold on. Nope, I had an image for you. Give me one minute. Bear with my slow ass. Um, yep, one more time. Uh, towboat versus tugboat. Nope. Pilot. There we go. So this is a pilot boat here. A tugboat is, this, you know, can tie onto it, can push, pull, Fucking huge ash engine. Here's a pilot boat. They can kick ass and get out there real fast. This is a tugboat, pilot boat. See the difference? Tugboat over here. You can just see how they're, they're just sturdy. I've been on a few tugboats. They are just fucking all engine. They're just massive beast. This guy is going to get out there and he's going to... Um, nope. Pilot tugboat. That's a company. Nope, I pass on that one. Easy pass. Um, tugboat, pilot, uh, Coast Guard. Pilots, yep, pilot. Yeah. 
pilot. Um, interesting. That's got a. It says pilot there. Okay, because I can't tell from the backside there. You see the backside where it can anchor up. Tug, uh, tugboat captain, pilot. There it's written on the side. So now you see the tug. You see the difference now. Tug, pilot boat. So the pilot boat hauls ass out there and gets to the uh, ship and hauls them, you know, pilots them in for a certain amount of dollars and then hauls back out there and, and hovers waiting for the next ship, and droop, droop, rotating multiple pilots and coming back and grabbing the next. You know, you you got multiple pilots on there that you do it, not just one pilot, one boat. Okay, it's like a taxi service. All right, end of video. You Hopefully now you see that this is, maybe it was piloted. It was leaving. Uh, you know, if you if I was, if that's the only law that I could find, if that's it, the extent of it, it's saying you must, entering, leaving then is, hey, I'm leaving. I'm not breaking your laws if I leave and I don't hire a pilot. Um, let me just do that. Let me just search that for a minute. So I'm, I'm searching, do you need a pilot to leave uh, Baltimore Har Harbor? Baltimore Harbor. Do you need to leave? Damn it. This is what I found again. Look, my question is, do you need a pilot to leave Baltimore Harbor? And it comes back by state law. Every ship that enters Maryland waters must have a state licensed pilot as him. Three hundred tons or more. There's your harbor pilot. You know he's going to. Uh, the ship's deep. Every ship that uh, once again, I'm finding enter. I'm finding enter. There's your salaries for you. Fifty six thousand, whatever. Well, chief helicopter pilot, ship pilot, 185, monthly salary, 15 grand. Wow, that's pretty damn good. <sighs> Let me move the 17 pages. Let me move this over while you look at that. Let me see if I can get you another view. Enjoy that view for a minute. Something different. And let me just look this up real quickly. Um, whoops. Wrong page. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, shit. I need to get there. And I need to find... Um, mm, good news is only four things I'm looking at. Merlin Pilots. Uh, phone number... Pilots Association... Let's do this. Let's have a little f interesting conversation here on speakerphone. And let's see if we can find the, do you need a pilot to leave a ship? And maybe they can give me the code too. Thank you for calling the Association of Maryland Pilots. If you know your party's extension, please dial it now. For the company directory, please press 9. For the press... Shit. Might have messed up. We're waiting. I'll get you a different image while we wait. Oh, shit. I'll put them on hold. Record your message and press pound. Well, we're going to try that again. And I'm going to identify myself, so I might put myself on hold. For, I mean, mute for you guys while I do that.
For the Vice President, Captain Beth Chrisman, press 2. For the Executive Assistant, press 3. Like I said, I might put you on mute um, for just a moment while you look at the screen still or identify myself to the person. And maybe this isn't going anywhere. Record your message and press pound. Okay, that's my second voicemail. I guess they're not, they're not going for that shit. Um, hmm. I might find something else to do another video. I think I found a tugboat company that I can contact. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.